It has been exactly one month since that disputed election in Belarus, and the crackdown against opposition activists is intensifying. Only one member of the opposition's coordination council remains free in Belarus, and her freedom is very much in limbo, as Redmond Shannon reports. It's rare that any public figure would welcome a barrage of cameras at their front door. <laughs> Nobel literature laureate and opposition activist Svetlana Alexeyevich told reporters masked men tried to break into her apartment on Wednesday. Note her reinforced door. After the incident, European diplomats came to show their support for the last member of the opposition's coordination council to remain free and inside Belarus. Earlier Wednesday, Maxim Znak was taken into custody. It follows the mysterious detention of Maria Kolesnikova at the Ukraine border this week. Fellow council members said she tore up her passport to avoid being deported with them. Their exiled leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya was in Warsaw Wednesday. EU member nation Poland donating a city building to the opposition movement. I will try to answer you why our protests are so unique now. First of all, it's led by women. And supported by women. For a second day running, masked Belarusian police arrested groups of female protesters. Over the weekend, hundreds of people were arrested and many were allegedly beaten. I know somebody who was going to go, but then she changed her mind because she was quite afraid, which is understandable. This Canadian in Belarus worries he could be deported if we reveal his identity. One of the, the fears I have is, you know, you take the underground, take the subway and you accidentally come out at the wrong metro station and you find yourself being arrested for being at the wrong time, at the wrong place. President Alexander Lukashenko told Russian TV his 26 years in power may have been too long, but says he won't step down. He again spoke of interference from the West, suggesting he's being watched by American satellites. Since the disputed election, he has looked east to Moscow for support. The protesters of Belarus, stuck in the middle, insist they just want free and fair elections. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.